Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Decryption and I hope you are well. We're going to look at adding buttons to our toolbar and menus today because it's going to be something really really useful when you write your own editor scripts to quickly bulk do things. You can add them to the toolbar, add submenus and everything. It's super quick and easy to add stuff. So today we're going to add a button to our toolbar to load up an editor window. Let's get started. You are going to need some form of editor script to actually do this, but you don't actually need it at all if you don't want to launch a window. You can make it run code or change levels. So I've got this button here that when you click it, opens up this other editor widget I've got, but you can easily customize it to do anything you want at all. So it's super simple. Come into your editor folder, right click, go to editor utilities and editor utility blueprint. You may need to go to edit plugins and make sure you've got editor tools enabled. First one, create an editor utility object. This is where all your logic's going to be. So I'm going to call it EUB for editor utility blueprint toolbar additions and I'm going to open it up. I'm going to override the run event on it and in class defaults I'll also make sure I tick run on startup. You don't have to tick this but if you're building a toolbar you're typically going to want it to load as soon as Unreal does. So the first thing you need to do is actually get the toolbars, so the entire thing. So simply right click and do get tool menu and you'll see this tools menu get. Just connect that up and then we need to tell it which menu we need to expand. Now it's a bit hard trying to find which menu you want to add. So there's a very helpful command you can run at the bottom and it's simply tool menus edit space one or two tools menu dot edit one or zero to enable it. If you enable it, everything will have now its edit menu properties of it. So if you want to add it up here, for example, you can come and find the menu editor and it will tell you what the path you need to edit it is. So all these are there. So you can pretty much pick and choose where you want to add it. For me, I'm okay adding it to the end. So I'm just gonna come and click this edit icon and there's the path I need, level editor dot level editor toolbar dot user. So back in here, I'm going to drag off of this and select extend one of the menus. And then the path is the one what we've just typed out. So level editor, level editor toolbar.user. And now we can start adding things to it, such as our button. Let's just get rid of that other menu with zero. So we need a button in order to do it. So I'm going to come back into my editor folder, right click editor utilities, editor utility blueprint. And I'm going to do a search for tool menu entry and we want this editor utility tool menu entry. Click select, call it something like EUB toolbar button and open it up. Down the side, you've got a ton of different properties. Just tick run on startup. And then the main thing we need to do is drop down the override and choose execute. And this is where you tell it what to do. For mine, I just want it to open a widget. So I'm gonna to come to the variables, create a new variable called editor utility widget. And I'm gonna set its type to be editor utility widget blueprint and I'll make sure it's a soft object so it's not always loaded in memory. I'll then drag it down. I'll load asset blocking because the editor is not great at asynchronous operations. I'll also resolve it at the same time so we actually get it in memory. Then just before I will right click and do get editor utility subsystem and this is how we modify widgets in the editor. I'll drag off and do spawn and register tab. Connect it up to the load asset blocking and connect the editor utility widget. The final thing we'll do to the variable is just make sure it's exposed on spawn and instance editable so we can edit it when we spawn it. The only other thing we need to do is populate these items somewhere. We can either do it here or we can do it when we spawn the button. The key ones you really need to know is the menu is the place it's going to sit. So when you create it, we're going to tell it to spawn it into this menu, but when the button's there, it will also know that it's in that menu. Section you don't need to worry about if you, unless you're doing submenus. The name is a unique name for this specific button. So I'll just call it widget opener for now, and then we can change it later. The label is actually what text it will show. So I'll just call mine open selection tool. Yours can be open world, just destroy actors, select everything, it could be anything you want. Tool tip is if you just hover over it, that's a nice to have. Everything else is really optional except the entry type, 
which is what type of item are you wanting to create? So we're wanting to create a toolbar button. The action type is it's a button, so you click it, and we can just hit compile and save. Now, if we go back to our toolbar additions, we can drag off of this and just do construct object from class. The object we want to create is our toolbar button. For the editor utility widget, I can now come and set it to whatever I want to load up. So I'll do my asset selection saver. If you need to modify it specifically, if you're doing multiple of these, just drag off the return value and get the data. Set the attributes, set the members on that data attribute, and you can come and set anything specific. So I'll do a, a unique name just for this one, asset selection button, and then drag off the return value and just do set data to reset it back and connect it up to the set. Finally, just drag off your extend menu and do add menu entry object because we've created an object to do it and you can just connect it up like so. If you put a little bit more time into it, you can make it really, really neat, but I'm trying to keep this video a bit short for this. And now that's it. If you hit compile and save, come back to your location, right click the toolbar and just do run and you'll see we now have a fancy little button. If you click it, it will indeed load up my little menu like so. You'll notice it looks a bit dodgy. There's no icon, there's no text. I don't know why this is the default, but some things that you can do to fix it. Come back to your button in the class defaults. Set the set style name in the icon to be editor style, capital E, capital S. Then for the style name and small style name, there are some icons on a link in the description. It's all of the slate icons Unreal has. Just do control F and find the icon you want. So for me, I'll probably grab this really long selector icon one and I'll just paste it into both. If you've got a smaller icon, you can set it into the small style. I don't. And then in advanced, just make sure the style name override is set to palette toolbar, capital P, capital T. Compile save. If you jump back now, right click, rerun your editor script. You'll see it looks a lot nicer. One minor little change that I see everywhere for some reason, just add a space before your label and it just makes it look just that little bit nicer. So you'll see it's all squashed up, right click run, it's all bumped out and now we've got an asset button just like that. There we go ladies and gentlemen. If you like that, please subscribe because I've got a video upcoming soon where we look into a proper sub menu based system with automations and everything on it, which will look something like this devs tools one where you can come in, you've got your asset selection tools, you've got your widgets that load up to do anything you want. And then you've also got the ability to add sub menus, searches and come in at any moment and just jump between levels in your game. It's super cool and I'm loving using it. Thank you for watching. I hope this helped. Any issues, please let me know. It has changed over the years with how to do this. Unreal 5.4, 5.5, 5.6. This is typically how you seem to be able to do it. Thank you for watching. My name is Decryption and I will see you next time.